Hey guys, and welcome back. If you're interested in getting all of our college basketball picks for today's action, including our daily free play, you can access all of those over at stumpthespread.com, which is linked down in the video description. Our daily free play dominated yesterday with Michigan covering easily in blowout fashion on the road against Maryland. Today's daily free play is going to be a pick against the spread in the matchup between Iona and Ryder. So again, you can access that play over at stumpthespread.com. Heading into today's video, I'm going to be talking about this matchup over in the AAC between UCF and Temple and give our lean on who we feel is going to cover. Central Florida coming to this one today as the road team as about five and a half to six point underdogs on the year right now. The Knights not necessarily having the kind of success that they were hoping for coming into the year. More middling within the American Conference standing at 17 and 10 overall and 8 and 7 within league play. You compare them over to their opposition here. The Temple Owls, they've shown a pretty high ceiling at times this year, but they've been very hit or miss. They're standing 15 and 12 overall and 7 and 8 within league play. So back to the road team here, the UCF Knights, they're kind of a one-trick pony. They slow things down into the half court and lean on their defense. They rank third in the nation in points allowed compared to 346th in scoring average. So definitely a team that likes to grind things to a halt and lean on their defense to have success. They have a positive plus minus on the year of a little over positive two points. And more recently, the Knights have gone on to win three out of their last four games with their best win during this stretch coming in a final at home against SMU, winning that one 52 to 37. And what was another one of those just ridiculously low scoring games? We saw another Kind of similar result to that when UCF took on Temple earlier within league play. That was also on their home court. They took down the Owls, winning by 21 points, but only putting up 60 points on the board as the Knights went on to beat Temple by a final of 60 to 39. So UCF, of course, are going to be trying to slow things down into the half court here again today, leaning on their defense. And with this probably being a lower scoring game, that's definitely going to give these points a bit more value than they would have in a higher scoring matchup. UCF, unfortunately, they are without the big behemoth center taco fall. But even without fall out there on the court, UCF is still a dangerous team from what they've been showing us. So UCF coming to this one here against a Temple team that's definitely shown better on their home court than on the road within a league play. But in their last outing, not looking great at home at all as Temple went on to lose to Houston by 21 points, losing out by a final of 59 to 80. And this is just another one of those things where Temple, they've shown us this year that they have a high ceiling and they can beat quality opposition. But then they have these performances like their last outing against Houston where they can just get completely run through. If you look at their overall resume, they actually have some really solid wins. They've beaten teams like Auburn, Old Dominion, Clemson, and then within conference play, they've beaten SMU. They challenged Cincinnati, losing to them by just two points at home. Also recently on the road against Wichita State, fairly competitive game, losing that one by just seven points. They also have a home win over Wichita State. So this is the Temple team. It's just very confusing. They're very up and down. Maybe they could get hot and make a run come the AAC tournament, but it, they've just been very inconsistent. On the year, they rank 269th in the nation in scoring average, 118th in total team defense, and they're about even in terms of their plus minus. So on a game-to-game -game average, the road team here, UCF, has been about two points better than Temple. When you factor in the home court advantage, you'd figure Temple would probably come into this one today as maybe one to two point favorites at best. But now they're giving five and a half points, maybe even six. It just seems like they're giving too many points in what's probably going to be a lower scoring game, giving these points more value. So with that being the case, we're going to go ahead, side with Central Florida, getting those points in probably what is going to be a more competitive, lower scoring matchup. So again, taking Central Florida with the points as the better value play. If you agree, give the video a thumbs up. If you disagree, give it a thumbs down. Check out all of our picks for today's action in college basketball over at stumpthespread.com, linked down in the video description. And be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping on in. We hope to see you guys in future videos. Bye.